Modifiable risk factors would be things that potentially you could do something about things you can modify. So these would be things such as high blood pressure. High blood pressure actually causes stretching pressure in the heart walls and any kind of stretching of the walls of the left upper chamber of the heart causes these AFib sources or cells to form. Sleep apnea can be caused even people who aren't overweight and snore, which is the typical person who develops sleep apnea. That This is a condition where people stop breathing at night. They, their brain causes them to stop breathing and they don't get very good sleep and it causes high pressures in the chambers of the heart that stretches the heart and causes more atrial fibrillation. Then you have things such as structural heart problems. If you have a valve problem, the valves being the one-way valves that let blood go from one chamber of the heart to the next and close, the valve closes so blood can't go backwards. And if you have a leaky valve or a very stiff valve, the pressures in your heart can get very high and that can cause atrial fibrillation sorts of cells to form because anything that stretches the heart can also cause AFib. And then of course, just getting older, that stretches the heart as well. So structural heart problems, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, then you have anything that causes any kind of inflammation in the heart. And that's a whole host of things. Diabetes, poorly controlled diabetes causes a lot of inflammation in the walls of the heart. That can certainly cause atrial fibrillation to form faster. Yes, chronic inflammatory disease processes can also cause it. So if you had rheumatoid arthritis or you had autoimmune disorder, Disorders or chronic kidney disease. These are issues that can cause inflammation. Then just simple things like smoking.